going to begin this half hour with those Penn, a former Penn State fraternity brothers back in court this morning facing charges in the alcohol-related death of Pledge Timothy Piazza. ABC's Gio Benitez is there in State College, Pennsylvania with more. Good morning, Gio. Robin, good morning to you. A judge could soon decide if there's enough evidence to go to trial here. Defense attorneys will argue today that this was a terrible tragedy, but not a crime. This morning, 18 former Penn State frat members head back to court, charged in connection with the death of 19-year-old pledge Tim Piazza. Uh, we have, one, we have a, a friend who is unconscious. He hasn't moved. And he's probably in an That 911 call coming nearly 12 hours after the sophomore's head-first fall down a flight of stairs after an alcohol-fueled hazing ritual at the Beta Theta Pi fraternity house this past February. Penn State permanently shutting down that fraternity. The key evidence against the young men, surveillance video from nearly every room in the house. It was played only in court. Piazza was visibly drunk, downing at least four drinks in just minutes, falling down the stairs, struggling and in pain for hours. I observed the uh, defendants, men kidding, backslapping, joking, and acting as though they were at a fraternity reunion. Prosecutors say the video shows frat brothers ignoring Piazza and even hitting him. Piazza's parents, who say they can't bear to watch the video, spoke to GMA in May. They set out to, to feed these guys lethal amounts of alcohol from the outset. The charges range from involuntary manslaughter to reckless endangerment to tampering with evidence. The video shows the frat brothers getting rid of all traces of alcohol before police arrive, even putting a clean shirt on Piazza's unconscious body. Defense attorneys for the former frat brothers say the video does not show intent to hurt Piazza. I don't see how anybody, Joey M's in particular, could be charged with the knowledge that this was anything more than a frat brother who had too much to drink. Still, Piazza's parents say their behavior is indefensible. I don't know where their conscience was, where the, the voice in the back of their head was saying, he's hurt, I gotta do the right thing. And Penn State telling ABC News this morning that it is vigorously working to implement new safety measures for the fall semester, calling Piazza's death a terrible tragedy. Robin, what was that? All right, Gio, thank you.